Hello neighbors! This is a quick tutorial to get you connected to Ancestry Online from home. You'll need your library card number. If you don't have it, feel free to use this chat with us option in the lower right corner of our website. During open hours, it is staffed by one of our library staff. If you contact us while we're closed, we will follow up with you the following morning. You'll want to go to our website, Fletcher Free, dot org slash research tools. Scroll down until you see Ancestry International Library Edition. This link here where it says Ancestry Access is where you want to go. Click on that and the page will ask you for the last seven digits of your library card. Enter that and click on Get Ancestry Access. This is the home page for Ancestry.com. You can see over here that you are connected through the Fletcher Free Library's offering of the service. Click on Begin Searching and fill in the fields. In this case, I'd like to see the 1790 census record for the first governor of Vermont. I previously looked up his birth date, and I selected Vermont as his place of residence, because I'm not really sure what town he lived in. I click on Census and Voter Lists over in the Filter By, because I wish to limit it down to census records. Then, I can further limit it down to the 1790s or any other specific census year that I'm seeking. In this case, I can tell this is his record because he's listed as His Excellency Thomas Chittenden Esquire. I can click on View. and see that he is the first entry for the town of Williston in the 1790 census. This is just one of the many great things that Ancestry from Home is offering. The best feature, I think, other than having home access, is that this is actually the international version. So it is the premium version of Ancestry.com and it contains results from Canadian and European and other national international records from all around the world. Please don't hesitate to get in touch if you have any questions and happy searching.